Good evening. Uh, this is Andy, the creator of this little game called Deduction. So, a simple little point and click game. Um, just click play, and you come to a screen with uh, different filing cabinets, and you can select all the cases one at a time. As you open each drawer, a case will, have, will uh, appear at the bottom. So, we're going to select the fourth case, the uh, William Johnson case. So, just like right clicking on it brings you to the first screen which is a uh, telephone and just by simply clicking on the phone it uh, basically the person is reporting the crime to the police and just by clicking through the dialogue so simply deduction is simple ga game that you just interact with objects if, as, as long as the object is highlighted when you mouse over it the, that object can be interacted with so here you got the victim and there's clues on the ground and movement is done just simply by clicking on the arrows that are on the screen and when they turn from red to green when you click that will transition you to the next room so if you click on the body some dialogue appears and you can just keep clicking your mouse and read the dialogue each time you click the mouse the dialogue will move to the next next thing and by clicking on the items that are highlighted they will be added to your inventory which is that backpack there and you can individually select items in the inventory for a description which will help you see what the clue if it's an important clue or not or if it's a red herring and uh, people are the same way in the game when you need to speak to witnesses just by mousing over the person the dialogue will appear and by clicking the screen the dialogue you can well, I'm clicking it quite quickly but uh, you click it slow enough so after each dialogue your officer will take notes and by clicking the notepad you can s just by hitting the space bar you can review the the notes and well we're very early here we only got we just interviewed the first person so so we'll just click through and again furniture and things can be interacted the hand appears so you opened up that garbage can and found a clue there and uh, Again, see it's added to the inventory. So it pulls that off. And we transition to the next. And simple dialogue, like the dialogue with this policeman. Once you're finished the dialogue, you will have the option to leave. So all dialogue is like a once you've finished your dialogue, the option to leave the room is always after that. So you can never skip through the dialogue in the game. And here we're searching through the house, and again, there's furniture. And just by mousing over each one, the magnifying glass or the hand, and you can find the clues which are added to your inventory, and dialogue appears as well. So you can yeah, open the drawers on your dresser and look through and talk about the clues so after when you get to the end of the game once you've interviewed everybody and uh, you usually get to this screen the, the final screen and here you can look through review your clues and uh, also see I found eight of the nine clues in this run that I went through real quickly and uh, if you click on the notepad you can and just by hitting the space bar you can review the notes for each of the people that you spoke to during the uh, interview process and all the notes and you can review them and basically you come up with a theory like who you think did it and by clicking on the police shield and here you can select who you think did it because the crime was committed by and by hitting the space bar all the different options will appear so you select we think Thelma Duns did it, for example, and by means of, and this is basically how they did it, and with this motive. So once you have the three things, you can click on the handcuffs on the bottom right corner of your HUD, and there you go. You got. Then it brings you just basically to the judge screen, and he will tell you whether you have figured out the case correctly or incorrectly. So it's really all the game is, is just a simple little puzzle game, and thank you for your time.